Hi guys, this is Erica and in today's video I want to talk about having faith or belief in your own power, belief in whatever it is that you're using uh, to manifest what you desire, either if you're scripting, if you're just, um, you know, doing imaginal scenes in your mind, if you're affirming, whatever it is that you're using i think it's super it's super super important to have faith and believe that what you're doing works that what you're doing is powerful but anyways before we start the video i want to remind you that we are giving away some free coaching sessions all the details are in the description down below also if you want to receive notifications of when i release a new uh workshop or uh affirmations or if i have a sale you can join our mailing list the description is also down below and if you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one coaching i have a sale going on right now so take advantage of that while it lasts and okay let's start with the video by the way princess present too <laughs> and uh so yeah i wanted to talk about the the importance of believing in and the power of what you're doing. Because I still hear a lot of people saying, well, does it really work? Like, I don't I don't know if I really believe that everyone is me pushed out, right? So it is that doubt that is maybe slowing things down for you. So I feel, I believe that when you really believe in yourself, believe that that you are powerful i feel like things will move faster for you i believe that um believe it believe that you're kind of like like a wizard right that you have special power that there's magic in you and you know how i think i've talked about this in other videos even in the bible it says your words are so powerful they will never come back empty right there is there's so much power within you there's so much power in your thoughts there's so much power in your words there's so much power and in, in in your mind right and i want you to believe in it i want you to feel powerful and remind yourself that you are you have that that god within and your god within is your imagination so you said to your benefit and I wanted to share uh, an example of how, like, how believing is so powerful. I have a friend at the gym. I'm kind of a gym rat. And uh, I have a friend that works out six days a week. And this kid is so strong. He lifts so much weight, so much weight. And he's natural, meaning he's not taking anything that helps him, you know, increase his strength. He's not doing, you know, he's not taking steroids, which a lot of people at the gyms do. And this kid is natural, but it's it's insane to see the amount of weight that he lifts. lifts. So as I asked him the other day, I'm like, how do you do that? I'm like, you're natural, right? He's like, yeah. He's like, I just believe I'm trying to, uh, in my mind, I try to lift as heavy as all of these guys that I follow on social media. I try to lift as heavy as they do because if I think if they can lift that heavy, I can too. But he's natural and the other guys that he follows and admires, he admires, they're not natural. So it's like kind of clicked in here. I'm like, wow, see, like he is believing that he can do it naturally when you know, there's a lot of people that are like, I can't live with that much weight. I'm not that strong. And just because they believe that they're not that strong, that's why they cannot lift as much weight. But he believes that he can. So he's push he's pushing himself, right? He's pushing his limits. Um, and he's able to do it. And every day he just gets better and he gets stronger, and it's insane to see that progress. So I just I thought that it was a great story to share with you guys because I want you to also believe in yourself, believe that I'm very powerful. And if this other person is manifesting 
the specific person, the money, the body, everything, you know, if they can do it, I can do it too, because I am as powerful as, as they are. I have the same power within, but it's all about believing in yourself. Feel powerful. Put that crown on, a crown, I'm wearing a crown. Put that crown on and from that place of knowing power and belief in yourself, do your affirmations, do your inner conversations, do your scripting, do your imaginal scenes from that place of power, believing that this is this is real, this is this is working. My mm, everything I do is powerful, and what I want and desire is already mine, because I want it, and just because I want it, it's already done for me. It's already created for me, right? And tell yourself, I am deserving of everything that I want and desire. I am deserving of being happy. I am deserving of living in abundance. Abundance of love, abundance of money, abundance of health, abundance of happiness, abundance of peace. We came here to experience life and enjoy it, not to suffer. So we just need to remember that we have the power of creation and use it to our benefit. Because we have been using that power, un you know, unconsciously and just letting life happen instead of saying, no, this is what I want, this is what I get, right? So it's just claiming that power back, believing in yourself, believe in the unseen. Believe that when you want something, it's already created. Believe that, remember, our only job is to say, this is what I want and believe that you can have it. It is not our job to figure out how is it going to happen, when is it going to happen. It's not our job. Our job is to say, I want it. It's mine. Just like when we go shopping online. Okay, I want this. It's mine. I paid for it. It's mine. It's on its way. It's the same way. Just believe that. Just by you telling yourself that you already have it, it has to show up. Because remember, we have to go to the end, meaning let's say that I want that person in my life. I want that person to be my my husband, my life partner. I just have to say, you, Jerry, you're mine. You're my husband. And you want to be my husband. You're showing me with actions that you want to be my husband. And I just stick to that, right? That person is my husband. They're madly in love with me. They want to marry me. I just stick to that. And this person will think it's their idea that they want to marry me and be with me because I'm persisting in that story that that's my husband and he wants to marry me. And all I have to do is just not to think the opposite of that, not to think that that they don't love me, that they're not interested in me, that they don't want to commit to me, that, you know, that they're with someone else. No, because I know the power, I believe in the power of my, my assumptions. And I won't give life to the opposite story. I will only give life to what I want, meaning that is my husband. He wants to marry me. He wants me to be his wife. He's madly in love with me, period. All right. Because I believe in the power of my thoughts. I will give life to what I don't want. So just tell yourself that every day. I will not give life to what I don't want. I will only give life to what I desire because I deserve, deserve to have it all. I came here to select, consciously select what I want and to experience it, period. Because I have that free will to select right so yeah i hope i didn't ramble on too much i just wanted to remind you that you're very powerful that i want you to believe in yourself and i want you to experience what is rightfully yours claim it don't let someone else have what is yours by divine right don't let someone else to experience what is yours what is yours is yours period so I'm not going to let my specific person be with that other person because that person is mine, right? 
Over here, we're not allowing third party third parties to exist. We're not. Because we are the ones in control. We have that pen that is writing the script of what we are going to experience. And we, with that pen, we only give ourselves what we want. We don't use that pen to give our specific person or our job or our money to someone else. No, I use that pen to give myself what I desire because I love myself so much, right? That is what self-love is, you guys. It's, it's not, oh my God, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. It can be too, right? But it's like self-love is literally be conscious of your thoughts and, and only think about what you want and give yourself everything that you desire because the one that's going to benefit is you, right? So yeah, love yourself in that way. Believing the power that is within you. Only consciously select what you desire and get rid of all the rest. Get rid of the fear. Get rid of the past that was painful. Like learn from it, right? If I already experienced all the negativity, the rejection, the, the feeling lonely, the not being chosen, the lack of money, the lack of health, the whatever, if I ever experienced it, it just, it, it was a lesson for me to be like, I didn't like to be there. I deserve different. I want to experience different. And now consciously select and assume a different outcome, right? If in the past I was living in lack, now I consciously select that I'm very abundant in all areas of my life because I, that's what I want, period. I don't want lack anymore. I don't deserve lack anymore. Anymore. I've been there. I've done that. Now I want different because I know my power. I believe in my power. So, right? Okay, you guys. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're interested in coaching with me again, I have a sale going on right now. I have a couple of courses. I have one for manifesting a brand new specific person and one to revise the breakup and manifest that person back. And I have a couple of tracks of affirmations um, that are also very, very powerful. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching, for liking and subscribing. Love you. Bye.